So it was exactly what I thought it was. It was these connections here um, just weren't really all that great. Uh, so I just redid them. And kind of like a telling sign that it's <laughs> wired up, right, is you'll hear like a really, if you... If you're young, you'll hear a really uh, high-pitched whiny noise um, coming from the motor. Uh, it's not like annoying or anything. It's just like probably because it's being supplied current or something. Um, but yeah, so just as proof of concept, I'm going to run this um, test here. Uh, and it should rotate the motor. Yay! Beautiful. So yeah, overall, like, pretty sick board. Um, it's got two onboard 5-volt power outputs, uh, which is pretty decent. Because um, it's going to allow me to run, like, um, I, I wanted to throw these this fan in here. Uh, so I got, I got like, cooling for uh, up here. Um, and then I'm also going to be running a LiDAR sensor all off this, like, 12-volt power supply. Uh, so it's actually a pretty powerful board. Um, there was a Adafruit one that, you know, I, w I would have gone with uh, just because of the better reputation um, and customer support that they have. Um, and there's so many resources on their products. However, it was using, um, I think it was using I2C for the, uh, for the uh, control circuit, but like I didn't. I didn't want to do that. I, I just wanted to use like a regular DRV8825 setup. Um, and this is perfect. The only qualm I have are these stupid plastic potentiometers. But honestly, it's really not that hard to uh, set the voltage. Uh, so yeah, um, wave share, good job. Uh, Semi-free shit.